margaritas, salt and lime, Mexican beaches, and never-ending fun. We are, of course, talking about tequila. The TQ, or some people call it vitamin T. Let's see how gods were involved in its creation, how naughty the origin of the name is, and how there would be no tequila industry without the man behind the cuervo, and how a newspaper started a margarita craze in America. This is A Brief History of Tequila. What's in a name? First, let's figure out where the name comes from. The spirit carries the name of its birthplace in the Mexican state of Jalisco. But why is the town called tequila in the first place? As usual, the origins are a bit fuzzy. But there are two theories. One's a bit dull and another is a bit naughty. The first one says tequila comes from an Aztec word for place of work or place of tribute. That's the dull one. The more curious theory says the town is named after the nearby dormant volcano, whose name in turn comes from the word tatilla, which means small breast. Nobody knows which theory is actually right, but you can guess which one we like best. Gods and Conquistadors. The legendary origin story of tequila is similar to those of deities. It was born during a severe thunderstorm when lightning struck a crop of agaves and caused a fire. The fumes of the burning plant were sweet and pleasant, so the native Aztecs took notice. They found a way to ferment and distill agave and discovered the white potion gave them chill feelings of euphoria. That milky white fermented drink was the granddaddy of tequila, and they called it pulque. As one does, they concluded it was a gift from the gods, and both agave and pulque were so important that they came up with two gods. Mayahuel kept her eye on the plant, and Patacatl was the lord of booze. He, by the way, also discovered peyote. Fun god. Then, however, things turned sour when armed dudes from Spain came around in 1519 and acted all conquistadori. They brought plenty of bad things, but they also brought barrels of brandy and whiskey. The supply of European booze, of course, didn't last forever, so something had to be done. The locals had agave, the Spaniards had the know-how, and one hastily made distillation later, tequila was born. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? The Spanish Ambition How many Spaniards does it take to make tequila big? Three. Dude numero uno, Marquis of Atamira, was the Jeff Bezos of the time, and he turned pulque into tequila in the first large-scale distillery. Don José Antonio de Cuervo, the second Spaniard, was the first one to produce tequila commercially, and his employee, Don Salza, was the first one to export it to the U.S. But let's hang out with the man behind the world-famous José Cuervo tequila for a little bit. It was 1758, when he got a green light from King Ferdinand VI of Spain to establish a blue agave farm in the town of Tequila. He called the new spirit Vino Mezcal de Tequila, since it was essentially mezcal made mostly from the blue agave plant, and it was made in tequila. By 1880, the Cuerpo family became the first distiller to bottle mezcal de tequila when others still used barrels, and it was in 1893 when the Mexican government dropped the word mezcal from the name and called the drink simply tequila. Tony de Cuervo basically created the tequila industry. Like every forward-thinking businessman of the time, he took advantage of the prohibition and smuggled his product to the States. But it was World War II that really helped his brand. U.S. distilleries primarily produced alcohol for the army, and the European imports were scarce. So, the spirit from the South became the go-to drink. Soon after that, the Americans started celebrating Cinco de Mayo, and tequila was the patron spirit of the holiday. Daisies, trademarks, and the now. When the U.S. was dry land, droves of thirsty Americans crossed the border to visit well-stocked bars. One bar in Tijuana was run by an Irishman called Madden, and he was known for a delicious signature cocktail. He actually made it by mistake when he wanted to mix a brandy daisy, but mistakenly grabbed a bottle of tequila. He called the new concoction Tequila Daisy, AKA Margarita. When a newspaperman from Iowa told the nation about the cocktail, 
people went nuts. Now, 185,000 margaritas are downed each hour in America alone. In 1974, Mexico told the world only they can make tequila. And by 2018, more than 100 distilleries popped up. Almost 310 million liters of the spirit is produced each year. If you're having tequila right now, remember how it came to be and appreciate every drop. Also, if you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. We'll keep your feed spirited. Salute!